Okay, so today we're going to finish up chapter five. Uh, Wednesday we'll have a quiz over chapter five. Okay, problems just like we've got here. Uh, probably going to be one problem of each type. Method of sections, method of uh, joints, and method of members, or what they call structure analysis. Okay, which is what we're going to finish up today. So the problems we had to do were 515, 518, and 519, I believe. So 515, um, and by the way, I did not get them posted on Blackboard. Um, I still have to write up the last one, and then I'll get that posted. That way, if you, it's, it's easier to do that than to get the, the notes off the video, per se. So, just so you know. Okay, so 515. Get our cursor here. Well, the first thing we have to do is draw the free body diagram of the whole system. Something like that A-frame there. There's a force here, 2,000 pounds. Uh, looks like we've probably got an AY going up. AX is zero, it's on a roller. And over here we've got an EY. And potential for an EX. Because it's pinned. This is point D, point C, and point B. We also know that to the center is six feet, I believe. Right? Yep. This is six feet. We know that uh, this distance right here is two feet, right? So then we've got to find out what's going on here probably. Uh, we also are told that the distance from here to here is four feet I think it is. And then to the top is four feet as well. What we don't know is any angles or anything like that. Agree or disagree, this angle right here is the same as this angle, right? So I'm just going to write what it is here so that it'll be easier for me, okay? So to find that, uh, we take the arc tangent of 8 over 6, right? And we find out that that's 53.1. 8 here, 6 here, opposite over adjacent, right? <coughs> So that angle, all those angles basically, are 53.1 degrees. All right. Well, then we can find out what the distance is from here to here, right? Which will tell us what that angle or what that distance is where the question mark is. So to do that, then we take uh, what? The adjacent, if you will, which is what we're looking for, equals the... Uh, the opposite, which was, in this case, four feet, right? Four feet uh, divided by the tangent, whoops, better put the tangent in there, of 53.1 degrees. So the adjacent equals three feet, doesn't it? You could also have come up with that in a much simpler manner if this is eight feet and this is six feet, this triangle would be, there's a ratio agreement there, isn't there? So yeah, if this is four, that's half of this, well half of six is three, isn't it? So you could have come up with it that way as well, just basically by inspection, because the, the ratio has to be the same. So eight here, six here, four here, three here. 
has to be. Okay? So that proves that what we, and it was like 3.0002 something or other. But that's because of the round off here at 53.1. All right? Which means then that this distance right here, we can now uh, fill that in. The eraser was too big, wasn't it? Fill that distance in right there, and that is one foot in it, since the overall is three. <clears throat> and then, of course, the distance inside here, if we need it, is five feet, if we happen to need it. So to do the whole system, we uh, we have everything accounted for there now, right? <coughs> Excuse me, on the uh, the system the free body diagram for the whole system. So we do our summation of the forces in the X equals zero. And we've got what? Uh, EX. Is that it? I think it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh. And that's a zero there. That's not very pretty, is it? No, it's better. Summation of the forces in the Y equals zero. Well, let's see what we have there. Uh, we've got AY minus 2,000 plus EY. Holy cow, must have had a class running late, huh? Okay, so then uh, uh, we can't solve for that, right? So we do a moment. Summation of the moments. I think I did mine at A. Yep, as always. Zero. Well, let's see, we got 2,000 pounds there trying to make that thing go clockwise, so that's negative. And we decided that that's five feet from A, right? And then we've got EY over here. It's trying to make it go counterclockwise, which is positive. That's a good thing. And it's 12 feet away. So we can say that EY equals the 5,000 or five times 2,000 divided by 12, right? 833. pounds. We said EY was going up, it came out a positive value, so it is. AY equals, take this and put it up here, 833, 2000 minus 833, right? 1167 pounds. We said AY was going up, it came out a positive value, so it is going up. So we know the reactions at the pin locations, so we're good on that. Or I'm, I'm good on that. Are you good on that? Not, now be a good time to ask. <clears throat> okay. All I gotta do is get this thing to move up. I don't have a scroll bar. There we do. Okay, then we're going to go in and look at, <coughs> excuse me, remember I, I said uh, Friday, I guess it was, uh, before we were so rudely interrupted by the weekend. Yeah, see, weekend things get in the way of all of our studies, don't they? Well, not studies, but, okay. So the first thing I said we would probably do is look at members that are horizontal and especially if they have some kind of a force applied to